Hello everyone. I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about attractive efforts and its importance. Let us start with uh, certain factors which affect the speed time curve. And uh, we start with attractive effort to run any train on the track we require attractive effort for the propulsion of the locomotive attractive effort is required and we get attractive effort from the speed torque characteristic of the traction motor and attractive effort that is a function of a train resistance once attractive effort equals train resistance we will have a maximum speed to get the acceleration of 1 km per hour per second on a level track 31.1 kg tractive effort is required and for up gradient type of track we require more tractive effort and on the down gradient we require less amount of tractive effort and then speed so Again, it depends on the speed torque characteristic of the traction motor and resistance of the train. So let us discuss certain factors which affect the speed time curve. And we start with the tractive effort. As we discussed earlier, the tractive effort is a function of train resistance. It has to overcome the train resistance to get the maximum speed and if we have more tractive effort, more speed will be possible. Reciprocal of acceleration and retardation that is a 1 upon alpha and 1 upon beta. Alpha and beta we know that it is a rate of acceleration and rate of retardation. The slope of speed time curve that is dependent on the rate of acceleration as well as the rate of retardation. We have increase in the speed as long as we have acceleration. Once the acceleration becomes zero, meaning is when tractive effort equals train resistance, rate of acceleration becomes zero and then we have a maximum speed. At that maximum speed, free running will start and same is possible with the rate of retardation also train resistance that is a small r that is a type of track whether it is a up gradient down gradient or level track maximum speed attained that is a vm Distance between two stations, that is type of service, whether it is a mainline service, suburban service or urban service. So these are some of the factors which really affect the shape of the speed time curve. Then let us see the train resistance. Train resistance is uh, normally composed of two different types of resistance. One is internal resistance that is friction due to component of the train for example we have journal bearing so we have internal component and because of friction in the internal component we have internal resistance and then we have external resistance resistance between a rolling stock and track as well as resistance because of air friction we have total train resistance and we require enough tractive effort to overcome this train resistance and train resistance can be expressed mathematically in an equation form that is ft is equal to a plus bv plus cv square where a b and c are constant and v is the velocity of the train and then let us see the 
attractive effort is a force on the locomotive driving wheel and attractive effort is controlled by the driver we get attractive effort from the torque of the traction motor so based on the torque speed characteristic of the traction motor attractive effort is generated and as we discussed earlier we require enough attractive effort to overcome the train resistance to get the maximum speed and attractive effort is a function of train resistance attractive effort has to perform certain functions like a, it gives a linear acceleration to the dead weight of the train it is uh, indicated by f a a we use for acceleration so for giving a linear acceleration to the dead weight of the train we require tractive effort or that is one of the function tractive effort has to perform it overcomes the force of gravity it is denoted by fg g we use for gravity in case of up gradient we require additional tractive effort to overcome the force of gravity third one it overcomes the resistance of the train due to friction and wind that is ft so it requires enough tractive effort to overcome the resistance exerted by the friction and wind and the fourth function it overcomes the resistance of the track with the curve and that is denoted by f c c we use for curve so tractive effort has to perform all these functions and as a cumulative effect we can write a mathematical equation that is f capital t we use for tractive effort so ft and that is composed of fa plus fg plus ft plus fc so this much tractive effort is required and we know that uh, more tractive effort more speed and if tractive effort increase beyond the maximum value then will slips so this is all about tractive effort thank you very much for watching my video keep watching thank you very much